Yo, what is up, guys? Today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're going to be looking at the engrams for um, the Eververse. So, let's get right into it. This is going to be fast, quick, hopefully. So, let's see. We are going to be looking at the mnemonic engram, at least that's how I think you say it. First, for the ornaments, we're going to have the Sweet, sweet Business, which I don't have. The Jade Countenance for the Fighting Line, which is gross. Uh, the Catacombs, which I do not have. I'm really pumped for this one. This is one of my favorite ones. I thought I had this one. I guess not. That's weird. I thought I had this one. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting this one confused with the uh, another one. I'll show you guys later. Uh, positive Infinity for the Word Line Zero. Lethal System for the Hard Light. Icolos Field Tuning for the Polar Polaris Lance. Ultraviolet for the Borealis. Sky Perdition for the Divinity, Third Rail for the Risk Runner, Pul Pulmology for the Queen Breaker, and a bunch of legendaries ones for like Bygones, Bad Omens, Distant Relation, Soul Survivor, The Recluse, uh, Callus Mini Tool, Revoker, and Hammerhead, which I think I have mo it, most, if not all, of these already. I'm excited to get this one. I don't have this one, but. We got Thunder God, which if you didn't get this all that t long time ago, then you are going to be able to get this again. Uh, Eerie Breeze, which is cool if this exotic was not absolutely... It's not actually absolute garbage, but I mean, no one uses it. Uh, Grant's Vicksburg, which looks pretty cool in my opinion. The Bronze Carapace, which is pretty cool, not going to lie. Not going to lie. A Stride to the Edge, which is just literally the same thing, but just yellow. And then the Conflux Control, which I didn't actually get this, and I thought it was really cool. So if I get this, I will actually be pretty happy. For the Ghost Shells, we have the Scarlet Swarm Shell, the Harper's Shell, the Kit Bash Shell, and then the Star Map Shell, and then a bunch of waste, wasteful fucking purples. For Emotes, we have the Ninja Vanish. I don't, I don't think I have this one. I definitely want that. Uh, guitar solo, chicken's dinner, red card, sweeping, and then mic drop. The mic drop's pretty funny for me. Just, that's it. And then a bunch of other ones, which is, I'm not going to look at all these. Not, no. For the sparrows, we have the four, four degrees of separation, which is what I thought the raid should have dropped. But, I mean, that's neither here nor there. Blood Runner, which is in the background. The Calypso, which looks pretty cool. Jesus fuck. Tess, shut the fuck up. Uh, the Bronco, which is just pretty cool. For these ships, we have the Quality Cuts, which looks bad in my opinion. The Overraptor, which looks bad in my opinion. The Audrier, which is this one in the background. And then the Asher Mirror's one-way ticket, which looks bad in my opinion. And then a bunch of useless purples. Ghost projections, uh, okay. Shaders, nothing really too different here. And transmat effects, nothing too different here either. So, pretty much engram related. Not that bad. Oh my god, like let's get let's let's get the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up, it has. So yeah. I think that's pretty cool. It's alright. So we did not actually go through these last season. Umbral engram. What the fuck are umbler engrams? Okay, good. That's good that we came here because I don't know what the fuck those are. So this is probably gonna be something related with the I say probably. It's gonna be related to something with the season or whatever. And then, uh, five, 8,000 Glimmer, <laughs> I guess. All right, so I want a, a mysterious engram that contains a wide variety of legendary in gear. Its, con its contents are susceptible to influence. So, like, God, I wish I had, like, bounties and shit, but I just don't. Like, I really didn't care too much to do that. But we'll see when we get to it. I'll most likely end up doing a video about these if I find them to be really cool. But overall, Engram, we already expected that. 
Shader, let's see how the shader looks. Not that bad in my opinion. Actually quite nice. There is red, so... On this armor, it looks good, but it might just shader well with this armor, and then another shade, another armor it might shader bad, so we'll just see. Revolution Blade, which is something really weird. It looks like something a hunter. Like, this is like a hunter thing, for me at least, because, you know, they're using a hunter blade. But, whatever. Like, I guess. So... Is the is the umbral engram in just the beginning and that's it? Oh, so the the new seasonal weapons for the battle pass is gonna be this big ass chunk of a sword, vortex frame, launch a heavy spin attack. Oh, that's what we saw. So dark drinker or whatever might not be in the game. It might just be this that we saw. Interesting. The armor I'll show you guys in a bit. But this is actually pretty cool. I'm definitely going to do a review on this. I think it's pretty cool. I would love to see this on in PvE. Or PvP, I mean, in Crucible. Just to see, like, what the fuck it would be. Because this is just weird. So, like, projectiles fired by this weapon. By this weapon, blight the target or nearby area on a, on, a, on impact. So, an AoE. So, it'll, like, explode and then, like, just an AoE will be out there. It's really weird. Blighted targets take damage over time and blight the nearby area on death. That one's really cool. I can't wait to make videos on that one. This is... I think this is the shader that this armor has just on default, maybe. And a pulse rifle for the other weapon. Not gonna lie. Not... Mm, I don't know how I feel about it. Well, obviously, we're gonna have to, like, wait and see, but... I, I can fuck with it, I guess. Exotic. Okay, so this is the, we saw, the one we saw last season. Or last video. It's fine. I don't know if you guys have noticed either, but they increased the the Bright Dust to 200 instead of 100. Which brought the total to like 2,000 something or some shit. Which is cool. I'm, I de I'm definitely... I want to do the weeklies first to see if it's cool or not. So, I'm going to reserve my judgment. Another umbral, umbral engram. I'm, again, really excited to see what those do. Two exotics. Interesting. And then at level, what is this? Oh my god, I can't, I can't see the levels. But should be level like 63 to 64. Yeah, 63, 4. So 64, we start getting the actual like siege breaker stuff, which I already clipping there, but whatever. But overall, yeah, pretty pretty dope, pretty dope. Not gonna read these because whatever. Most of the time, I'm just not gonna know what they do until I get them. I really like this one. Like, this is really cool. I can't wait to get this. What is this? Improved armor focusing. Locks the ability to focus Ember Lingrams, allowing a Guardian to choose the primary stat of the armor contained with it. Damn, dude, like, I am really, I'm really curious to see how it's going to be working, but I don't want to, like, like, say my opinion just yet about that. That looks really cool. And then, that looks okay. This is taking forever, my guy. Okay. Is it some... No. Okay, so it's just once. And then... That looks cool. That looks really cool. 500 Bright Dust. So... We'll be getting a, quite a bit of Bright Dust from that. Not gonna lie, guys. Mm, I don't, I don't want to say anything just yet. Because I know that they changed the... Either they changed it this season or next season. But we're supposed to change how we get Bright Dust from the weeklies. They said it's going to be better for, like, just all across the accounts. But I'm afraid that they're going to decrease the amount of, of Bright Dust we can get over time. So, like, I just have a lot of questions. Uh, I'm really excited for this season, just just in general. But, yeah, this is this is the armor for the, for the Titans. I think it looks cool. I think the, like, the upgraded version of this, like, the Season Pass armor looks really cool. We ended up getting this hard link skin. I just ended up going to the Cryptarch uh, 
and he he had it for me but as you guys can see you guys can get some of the past exotics especially ariana's vow ariana's is really good you guys should definitely scoop that one up for sure but i'm really excited to just play the game i'm really excited just to see what the hell is up and yeah i i have so many videos in line right now it's not even funny guys it's it's pretty fucking wild how much videos i have in my head right now <clears throat> And not only that, but I, wrote, I ended up writing, writing it down. I have like probably like 22, 23 videos that like just for sure I'm going to be doing. And <clears throat> not going to lie, guys, I'm a little bit intimidated because a lot of the video stuff that I'm going to be doing is uh, a little bit outside my comfort zone. I already saw this. I'm going to be doing a video about this probably after this video. I'm just going to do like a reaction of it, like what it was and what everything. I thought it was pretty cool. Definitely, definitely a good way to start a season. You guys will see why when I actually say, but I am actually just getting on my Warlock so I can see the armor, because I don't know how it looks on my, my Warlock. I hope it looks cool though, like, not gonna lie. Oh man. Mm. Okay, so I'm probably gonna mute Zavala right now, but I I I like it and I don't like it. It's really weird. Let me see. The, let me see just the chess piece. That's all I would really need to see. Let me see. Okay, okay, that looks a little bit better. I, I like I like this actual. This looks a lot better now. This actually looks really cool. I like it a lot. Let's see. Let's see just other stuff as well. Helmet probably not bad, but like not that great either. Isn't that just how it already looks? Yeah, that's just how it looks already. Are you serious? <laughs> Whatever. I At the end of the day, it's just one piece. Like, what the fuck ever. Warlocks are probably going to get a lot more mad than I am because I'm not a Warlock main, but that's... Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. <clears throat> I like that. It looks pretty cool. I don't know how I feel about that. Mm. Overall, pretty cool. Oh, I might as well show you guys what I'm talking about. So, look at that. It's weird, right? This reload shit's really is is gross too. It's super super long, but it's weird, right? Like, it's like one of those like I've seen this move before, but not like the AOE part. It's I like it. It's different. It's unique. We've never seen it before. And I'm all about that. So, you know, I definitely want to see it in PvP, but that's pretty much it. I'm probably going to put this, like, engram and other stuff. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below about just everything I've shown you in this video. In my opinion, I am looking forward to this season. I am definitely uh, excited just to, like, really just get into the nitty-gritty of everything. I am a little weary, though, because I don't see, like the eververse armor in the game but it also might be part of the oh i also bought the collector's edition already i i know i hate myself too but you know <sighs> that's just who i be so the armor that i'm thinking about that's probably related to what's her face to tess from the eververse it actually might be It might be the Moonfang X7. It actually might be this. And I say that because this looks very like, this looks like some shit Eververse would sell. Like, you guys can't even tell me. It looks fire, dude. It looks super cool. Oh my God, it looks so cool. I want it. I want it so badly. And oh my God, it's symmetrical. Bro, it's fucking symmetrical. 
oh, we don't even have armor like this, finally. Okay, dope, dope, dope. Like, I'm telling you guys, I'm just so excited. Like, this armor looks dope as fuck. The, the Titans have a really cool look on it as well, if you guys haven't seen it. It's right here. I think... I think their legs are really cool. Oh, look at that. You look like a fucking like Decepticon, my guy. Looks really cool. The chest piece looks fucking cool as shit as well. Overall, I'm really excited. Jade Rabbit right there. Oof. Yellow and white don't change color. But that's fine. Uh, I could work around that. Yeah, like I said, guys, I'm just overall so, so excited for this. I definitely want to see how it shade or how it looks on women because on women it does genuinely look a little bit more different. Let's see the warlocks? I haven't seen the warlocks actually. Oof, this might be bad. So uh, I, I think I like it. I think I like it. The Dido thing definitely fucks it up for me a little. But overall, I think I think the Warlocks have the weakest set again. And I say again because they've... Warlocks get a lot of L's in this game. Not gonna lie. You guys have it rough. If you're a Warlock main, I'm I, I'm sorry. Like, y'all really... Ooh, this, this helmet looks fire, though. Yeah. The only thing is the green in the, in the visor does not change color. But other than that, shit looks fire. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below again. Like I said, uh, I'm really excited for just new stuff to come. I'm definitely going to have more videos on my reaction to the Vidoc or whatever the fuck we're calling it. I'm definitely just overall excited. This is the shell I was talking to, to you guys about as well. Looks really cool. I like it a lot. But yeah, I will be stop talking because it's, begin it's getting into a long video. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And be careful out there, guys. You know what's happening in the world. Be safe, be healthy, and I'll see you.